Well, good morning, guys. From We are here at the campground. Uh, we like to just do these tours and interviews when we organically meet people. All right, so when I turned 21, my mom was like, oh, I have all this money saved up for you to get an apartment. And I was like, you know, I don't want an apartment. I kind of want to live in a camper and travel. She's like, what? She's like, black people don't do that. I was like, well, <laughs> I, was like, well I guess I'll be the, the one that does. <laughs> That's too but, cute. Yeah, but um, so I ended up getting it off Craigslist for $3,500, and it's been amazing. I've been able to travel, save money uh, with school, knock $10,000 off my tuition. So it's so been, smart. yeah, it's been a really good, good time and way to save money. So how do you like living tiny? Because I know I like it. the trendy hashtag tiny is not necessarily an RV, but right. I'll it's be damned tiny. if an RV is not tiny. Right. I mean. It allows you to like only keep the important things, you know what I mean? And um, be able to uh, save money, really, because you're not buying stuff all the time. You're like, well, I don't have a spot for that, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we had the pleasure of staying here a few nights so we can see why you really like campground and you've got waterfront property here, but what in particular made you choose this spot? Um, yeah, so I like that they have fishing here. You can go like uh, paddle boating, uh, they have a like a pool and like where you can go shoot pool and uh, laundry so it was like an all-inclusive type thing mm -hmm. so it's like yeah this is really nice and it's gorgeous like they have yeah. these beautiful Carolina pines I think they call right. them right yep mm -hmm. and uh, just a really peaceful calm I bet it's a great place to study and relax exactly. how many years have you uh, been here um I've been here since August actually. Oh, ah, yeah. mm -hmm. so this is your first winter coming up. It is. I'm a little nervous about it. <laughs> yeah. So what made you uh, choose a bumper pull travel trailer? Because uh -huh. I notice you have the pickup truck right. to uh, tow it. So uh -huh. you are, you have the sense of being a nomad. Right, exactly. Um, well, I wanted to be able to have my separate vehicle and be able to, um, you know, park my camper and leave without having a big old RV <laughs> yep. to go and do the parking lot or whatever so yeah and how do you find towing your travel trailer um you know it's an old camper so I have to like you know like little things and um but I like it it's I, it's a good time yeah yeah it's not that difficult yeah I uh really like your outdoor living area I was gonna Thank say you. this is my That's favorite that's awesome part. yeah <laughs> You got the candles right. and the comfy chairs. Exactly. Right. We got a hammock and yeah. a barbecue. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then so. the waterfront real estate. Right. Yeah. That is awesome. Yeah. Well, let's go inside your home. All right. Thank you I'm so much. Yeah. I love the chalkboard. Yeah. Thank you. I have. And welcome his and hers <laughs> You are so sweet. That's adorable. Yeah. That. Oh, this is awesome. Yeah. All the dream catchers. Yeah. Well, let's start here at the forward part. This part right here? Yeah, the sleeper. <laughs> okay, awesome. So this is a full size bed right here. Um the painting is stuff I did. That little naked woman back there is art. I don't know. I thought it was added a nice touch. <laughs> the oh, thing in the awesome. back. Yeah. yeah. Art yeah. is good. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah. And up here, I just have like storage for like uh, boots and winter clothes. It's very neat and tidy. It is. Yeah. I like to keep yeah. it that way. Yeah. And my little mini TV over there. It's not a, a Blu ray, but we're getting there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. And how do you like cooking? In I love it. I love that kitchen. I have a four uh, four top stove. It's yeah. really nice. Yeah, I know. Oven. Yeah. Propane. I, yeah, propane. You know, yeah. not many of the newer ones have ovens. Yeah. So that's great. I like to cook, and then here is the microwave in here. Oh, oh so, a yeah. surprise! Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> And you have uh, air conditioning because yep. obviously right. it's this right part of the world, head. right? It gets very hot yeah. in the summer. Yeah, the AC is right above your head yeah. there, and um, got a furnace over there to the right. So nice dinette. Yeah, like you have another full down bed. Yeah, yeah this up here could be a bunk bed. Oh really? Ah. Not to exceed 150 pounds, they say, but we always like to push the limits there. <laughs> <laughs> That's so. a good use of space. Yeah, we haven't spent too much time in a. Uh, travel trailers yeah so and then this converts into a bed here yep. so and that's a very big uh, yeah yeah mm -hmm. they look really nice thank you did you. a good job oh thank yeah you. you did a very good job yeah there. you did better than i did <laughs> so in here i have my shower and then i put chalk like wallpaper on so i can like write notes to myself oh, in there that's so, the college uh, student yeah <laughs> 
So, and then I have a, I spray painted my toilet gold so I can sit on my golden throne. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so, yeah. I like your personality. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so now we've gotten a tour and we're gonna get to know Alexis a little better and ask her a few more questions. So you said there's an interesting fact that you wanted to share. Right, okay, so I'm in the Army National Guard. I've been in for four years. That and I've done really a tour cool. overseas uh, to oh. Afghanistan. Wow. Thank you for your service. Thank you. Very much so. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. And what do you do in the Army National Guard? So I do with logistics that comes with like all the parts that they need. I was previously at an aviation unit, so it's like with the Blackhawks and Apaches and Chinooks um, that we dealt with their parts and stuff like that. Wow. And now I'm at a, like a ground unit, so it's more of like Humvees and like the LMTVs, so it's like mm -hmm. Army vehicles. We're familiar with the LMTVs. Are you really? Actually <laughs> looking at that. For, as a uh, potential chassis. Really? Yeah. When we yeah. Truck, we wow. Because they are a there. badass, they are. bulletproof, meant to run in the worst conditions <laughs> yeah. around mm -hmm. vehicle. Blow barriers. Yeah. yeah. So it's a little on the warm side down here. So we're wondering what summertime was like, and if you did anything special to mitigate the heat in your RV. Um, well, I have a really great AC unit, um, but I sometimes go swimming in their pool here, and um, I like to lay out in my hammock suck up his rays, you know, and get a little melanin, although I have plenty, but. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I see a fair amount of shade. Yeah, absolutely. So the trees are great. Yeah. definitely find shade here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Which cool, you know, takes it down a lot. Right. And so, that water probably keeps things a little cooler, too. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll go and feed the ducks from time to time, too. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, the other side of the coin, mm -hmm. winter's coming. I know. I know that sounds all Game of Thrones. Oh, a Game of Thrones? Yeah, I love yeah. that show. <laughs> winter's like, oh, coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, you know, I've, I've asked some advice from the owners. We're like, well, you need to get a heated, um, what is it called? Water hose so that mm -hmm. the water doesn't freeze. I don't know if it'll get that cold, but I don't know. I've never lived in during the winter, so, but we'll see. Yeah. So, I got plenty of fluffy socks and electric blankets, so I'm good. <laughs> so now, what about condensation? Mm -hmm. Because every breath that we take, right. we emit humidity. Right and these windows condensating it's something that we've dealt with in our previous motorhome mm -hmm. and our current one right so what are you doing to be prepared for this um you know i'm kind of you know roll with everything you know i'll figure it out i'll call someone be like hey what's the issue how do i fix it so um but yeah i haven't really had any big issues with it it's just dripping a lot <laughs> Yeah, I just got to clean it up on daily yeah, basis. Yeah, clean it up, yeah. <laughs> so now let's talk about school. Okay, great. Uh, so I'm studying education, and um, I want to one day work up as a teacher. Um, so it's really been a passion of mine ever since I was in high school. But I uh, really enjoy being the part-time soldier and being in school. It gives me a, a nice balance, I guess. I'm oh. sure that helps with tuition too, yes? Oh, it does, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Would that be like the GI Bill? That would or? be, yeah. So I got, I get the post-911 and I also get a lot of other National Guard benefits as well. Oh, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, very smart use of your efforts. Right. So a lot of parents are wondering, yeah, you know, especially if they have children mm -hmm. of your age, Right. you know, what do your parents think now that you're in it? Um. At first, my mom was not happy about the idea at all. She was like, no, you're not gonna be safe. Da, 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 da. I was like, mom, I'll be fine. But um, she spent the night here and she actually loves it. So you just have, you have to allow yourself to grow into it to really enjoy it. What are your long-term goals? Like how long do you plan on keeping this lifestyle up? Okay, um, great. I really love the camping life. I think it's just something that you have to like experience to like really know that you want to like be the, do this type of lifestyle. But my goal is to get an Airstream, the Silver oh, Bullet. Yeah. That's like my, you is know, that my a, dream. A vintage Airstream or a modern Airstream? I want to do a vintage one. I'm like re it. Yeah, exactly. Keeping it real. Keeping it real. <laughs> so um, that's my goal. Um, but I've been doing this for a while. Like I'm single, so I don't have to worry about sharing my space yeah. with anybody. So um, yeah. I'll keep this up for There's a while. for two in an Airstream. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it, I notice a pattern. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you do what makes you feel good. Right. You wanted to ride a motorcycle. You ride a motorcycle. Right. Yeah, you wanted to follow a dream of living in an RV and living tiny. Right. Exactly. And then the field that you've chosen warms your heart. Right. More people really need to do that with their lives. Right. 
and not just be a peg fitting into a hole. Right. Yeah. It's good to make your own way and follow your dreams. Absolutely. Closing thoughts for anybody of your generation considering mm -hmm. this lifestyle change. Um, I would definitely say go for it. I mean, it's just so much fun to be able to have the privilege, not privilege, but be able to travel and pick up whenever you want to, uh, to be able to save money and to um, meet really great community camper life people. When they say like, happy camper there's a reason because people that camp are you're just good people so um but i definitely encourage people to do it it's uh something you won't regret awesome alexis thank you so much thank for you. sharing your story and your home and yeah. i look forward to uh just keep it in touch with you absolutely over the years yeah. and uh, yeah, a new friendship tour your <laughs> oh, yeah. Redone. yeah and your guys lmtv <laughs> yeah. all right guys it is time to wrap this video up Thank you, Alexis, for sharing your home and your story with us. And uh, if you enjoy authentic stories and real life stuff that happens on the road, make sure you hit subscribe and we will see you later. Thank you. Thank you, Alexis. Welcome.